welcome back AWE executive producer Ori Inbar. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining the AWE 2018 closing session and best in show awards. Wow, what a tsunami, right? How was the show? I got an awesome here. What else? Okay. Um, the industry is on the cusp of a major growth. I think we all saw it here at the show. Can you feel it? Yeah. All right. So now we're moving to the Augie Awards. Uh, we had last night 10 companies going home with 10 trophies, and today we have four more. Here are the four categories. Best in show, VR, sponsored by, sorry, AR, sponsored by WXR. Best in show, VR, sponsored by Virtual World Society. The Awesome Award, sponsored by AugmentedReality.org, the organization, the nonprofit organization behind this event. And Startup to Watch, sponsored by Super Ventures. Everyone at AWE was nominated for the Best in Show Awards. And the winners were selected based on a combination of parameters, popular votes, social media, booth traffic, and the judging committee made a decision based on all of that information. My opening keynote teleportation definitely deserved an awesome award, I think, by Mantis Vision. But since I kind of was involved, I felt like it's not too fair. But you definitely deserve it, guys, if you're here in the audience. And the, yeah, go ahead. They deserve a round of applause. And I have to say that the winner of the best in show was unanimously voted by everyone I heard at the show as you, the people, are the best part of the event. So I want to thank you again, the Avengers. Thank you for coming. So now we're getting to the actually giving some of these Augie trophies here. So to uh, present the best in show award, for the best in show VR award, I want to bring on stage my mentor, my idol, Tom Furness, founder of Virtual World Society. Well, it's been a blast, hasn't it? Uh, so many wonderful people. So virtual reality really is a transportation system for our senses. And the marvelous thing is where it can take us. And it turns out uh, this, this time at uh, AWE 2018, we had a very interesting um, category or an interesting experience that we didn't know exactly what category to put it in. So we sort of called it VR. But it turns out we're going to have all kinds of R's probably before it's over with. But for the best in show for VR is, ta-da, where thoughts where go. Where thoughts go. Where thoughts go. Where are in the thoughts audience. go. Lucas, are you in the audience? Oh my God. Yeah. This was in the playground. I don't know if any, how many of you saw that? It's probably where packing his. Packing oh, his God. stuff after his show. But it's wonderful. Wasn't totally it wonderful? tired. <laughs> Had to leave for Australia. <laughs> well, I'll accept the award, or you accept it for him. We'll hold him for him. Both accepted. We're going to get our picture made for accepting the <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> okay. One down, three to go. All right. For the best in show AR, I'd like to bring on stage our partner, another partner for this event uh, from the WXR Fund, Abby Albright. Give it up. Is that the never ending, mu never -ending story music? It is, I think, right? Yeah, you know. Uh, I'm really honored to be here on behalf of uh, the WXR Fund. If you're not familiar with us, uh, we got to partner with uh, 
AWE, so we're really appreciative of that. Um, so in AR, uh, been around the industry for a few years now, and uh, I'm really impressed with the um, applications that I've seen this year. The quality is really going up. Uh, and so this company, I think, is really deserving of this award. Uh, they have been around, I think, for almost a decade at this point, uh, and they've been uh, on the frontier of actually doing enterprise applications that are proving ROI for big business. And the winner of the AR award, best in show, is Upskill. Upskill. Yeah. Wow, um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we've been here a few years. Uh, we are almost a decade old, and um, you know, it's, it kind of feels surreal to actually seem like this is actually fair, our very first Augie ever. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, and I think what, um, what Abby said is spot on. Really what we are in the business of doing is to be able to actually create kind of the, the impact. We talk a lot about technology and what it does, but it's, uh, it's all about kind of the, the return on investment, um, the way that we're changing the workforce, the way that we're changing uh, work just in general and doing it with um, some of the, the best customers and the best partners that are out there. So on behalf of um, our employees that are, that are located all over the US and flying all over the world, thank you. Thanks to our customers, partners, and also the ecosystem. Give it up. Coming for, for, for. Moving on to Startup to Watch. That's a new category we started this year. We feel like there's so many great startups and we want to recognize them. So to present the award for the best, to, for the Startup to Watch, uh, my partner at Super Ventures and now CEO at 6D AI, give it up for Matt Meisnick. Um, this is, presenting this award, it's, it's quite uh, stunning for me in, in many ways. Having been uh, a founder several times over, over the last nine years in the AR industry, and then also working on Sidori on the, you know, the investing side, and just seeing what the industry was nine years ago, well, it wasn't even an industry, it was just a bunch of enthusiasts, and how over the last... You know, two years, three years, the, the market has emerged, it's matured, and with that, we've just seen the, the caliber of the teams, of the products, of the, of the vision of the founders who are starting companies and, and bringing new products to market has been you know, just quite a dramatic, um, you know, dramatic step up. And this year in particular, you know, walking around the booth and the booths and seeing everyone and listening to the talks, it's, uh, to me, it just seems like there's a, a threshold has been crossed in the, the AR startup ecosystem, and we're gonna see a lot of the startups today um, really start to break out and capture really, really interesting market segments and have some rapid growth over the next, you know, three, five, 10 years. And so I think this award this year is a really interesting, um, you know, I guess portends what the future could hold and I'd love to present this award for the startup to watch this year is Barrio. Barrio. Is Barrio around? No Barrio. Is Barrio in the house? Probably also packing. It's been a long yeah. few days. All right, so we'll hold it for them as well. Let's do a photo out. <laughs> I always wanted to have that photo with you, yeah, Matt. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, now for the fourth and final award for tonight, the awesome award. I want to bring on stage uh, AWE co-producer, 
You all know him, the very, our very own Tom Emmerich. Give it up. Okay, folks. So this is the Awesome Award. It's a new category this year. It's for a startup or an organization that has realized technology that we have all dreamt about or read in science fiction or fantasy novels. It's a, a moonshot technology. So something you gotta know about me, um, I love Star Trek The Next Generation, like love it. And when I was a teen, I had a checklist and I tried to check off every single episode. And my favorite episodes were the ones with the holodeck and then with Voyager, with the Doctor, and it was all about holograms. And so I'm really pleased to welcome up our winner for the Awesome Award, which is Looking Glass, with the Hollow Player One. Anybody from Looking Glass in the house? Please be here. Just send your hologram up. You don't need to come up in real life. Okay, well, I'll take a picture with Ori, because I don't have enough of them here. All right. <laughs> All right. You take it. You take it. Okay. You take it. Okay. Note to self: make sure the award winners are in the house. All right. Can I get my slides back? Okay. Now we're moving on for a quick wrap up. Um, if you can't get enough XR in this event. There's more and more happening throughout the year in many different parts of the world. As you can see on this chart, we have three big events, the US here, Europe coming up in October as the next event, and Asia. We also have a bunch of uh, monthly meetups that are allowing us to kind of keep, it, keep the, everyone engaged, uh, keep startups connected with investors and with corporations throughout the year. We now have it in New York, San Francisco, Toronto, Chicago. And if you guys have um, already a community, a meetup, you want to bring AWE as a meetup to, to that uh, city or that country, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. We're also announcing today that we have our first new AWE event in Israel, in Tel Aviv, on November 5th. So if you are interested, let us know. We'd be happy to have you there. And we have another announcement today. You guys familiar with Ismar? I have a bunch of yes. So Ismar is the leading academic research for, uh, event for AR and MR for many, many years. And uh, this year it's going to be uh, in October in Munich, 16 to 20. And guess what? AWE is also there in Munich in the same day. So we decided to co-locate those two events so we can get some benefit come of crossing from both sides. So from industry to research and from research to industry. So I hope you guys, you guys will appreciate it. Here are some, some more information about it. AWE uh, Europe, we expect about 2,000 attendees um, and over 100 exhibitors. And it will allow us, again, to, to get the best of research with the best of industry in that one, one week. We're going to offer special combo tickets so that it's worthwhile actually going to, to both sides of that event. And on the ISMAR side, there'll be plenty of uh, opportunities to present demos, to have industry sponsorships, and a new uh, opportunity to uh, enable recruitment of best AR, VR, and computer vision PhD students and researchers in that event. So if you want to get more information about ISMAR, go to www.ismar2018.org. And we hope to see you in Munich this October. <laughs> All right, uh, now um, I want to thank our amazing 250 exhibitors that uh, provided these, these beautiful toys and products and solutions at the show. Give it up for these amazing exhibitors. I think they really demonstrated the maturity of the industry. And how about our 400 awesome speakers? Give it up. Yeah. 
Many thanks also go to our partners who helped spread the word about AWE and make it awesome, especially to WXR and to the Virtual World Society, which helped kind of run uh, dedicated tracks, which really, I think, added a lot of um, you know, new dimensions to this event. We had that before. Uh, and of course, I wish to thank our sponsors who made this event happen. Give it up to these amazing sponsors. <laughs> and here are some parting thoughts for you to take with you home. I think we all agree that we all love XR in this room, right? So take those stickers. If you didn't get a sticker, come to us. We'll give you more stickers and spread it all over. Spread the love. XR is rising and is heading for growth, growth, which means we are definitely going to space land. And now is the time to go XR or go extinct. And if, again, that's too hard for you, just use XR to be awesome. I also want to thank the awesome team that puts this, put these events together. Give it up for the awesome team. <laughs> Let's keep this energy going. We'll see you next year in the 10th anniversary of AWE. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good one. <laughs>